five tips to heal past trauma and become whole. Today, we're going to be discussing trauma. Trauma can come at any point in our lives and harm us in ways beyond what we understand. Sometimes we might not even realize the full extent of the trauma we faced and only feel the repercussions of it. Other times we push away the trauma, telling ourselves that people have had it worse and handled it much better than we do. At some point, we have to accept that what we face is trauma and that it's hampering our lives and growth. But how do we heal from these traumas, especially ones we have denied for so long? In this presentation, we will be discussing five tips to heal your past trauma to better become whole. First, we must accept our trauma. We have to accept that what has happened has harmed us, and it doesn't matter if someone has faced worse. People have been in both better and worse places than you, and that's just a fact of life. Just because someone has faced worse doesn't make your pain any less valid. It doesn't make you weak. The process of learning to forgive yourself and heal makes you so much stronger than those people who try to ignore or quietly shoulder the burden. By acknowledging that something is wrong, you're making the first step towards healing. Second, you need to learn to accept support and help when it's offered. Too many times we try to shoulder our worries and burdens alone. But there are often people around who want to help. Family, friends, co-workers or people in the same club as you are often all offering help in their way. Accepting support when you feel overwhelmed is another step towards progress. You're acknowledging that something is wrong and that you aren't able to do it alone. This isn't a weakness. Humans are social creatures and naturally lean on others for support. Don't let your fear or ego hold you back from healing. Even if someone is just offering you tea, a shoulder to cry on or a sympathetic ear, don't turn it down. A third tip is to take breaks. You don't have to constantly be on the path towards healing. You don't always have to be making progress. This will cause you to slow and sometimes even go backwards. Take breaks from your path. Enjoy life. Find good moments. Enjoy a good book. Do things that make you happy as a reward for making progress, or just take a moment to breathe. Trauma isn't something easy to get over, and you aren't going to get it all done in a day. Acknowledge the patience that you will have to have for yourself, and remember that your mind and body both need a rest sometimes. A fourth tip is to practice self-care. This means taking time to stretch, meditate, and take care of your body. Eating healthily is important. During high-stress times, you may want to drink, eat a lot of junk food, or crave something sweet. These treats are good in moderation, but remember that you need to be healthy to feel good. My fifth and final tip is to be creative. Perhaps you like to draw, sing, write, or even colour. By being creative, you open yourself up to letting out your emotions in a healthy way. Creativity can also provide you with a healthy way to work through your trauma. It doesn't have to be anything perfect. It honestly doesn't even have to be anything good. If you want to start slow, write your emotions and thoughts in a journal and decorate it with stickers. Your creativity is another part of your being that is harmed during trauma, so let it grow and it will help you heal. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.